Black holes are among the most fascinating objects in the universe. They are regions of space-time where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. Imagine a place where the fabric of space and time collapses in on itself, creating a cosmic abyss from which there is no return. These enigmatic entities have captivated scientists and the public alike, sparking countless theories and inspiring awe. Black holes are formed when massive stars collapse at the end of their life cycle. The star's core implodes under its own gravity, creating a singularity, a point of infinite density. Around this singularity lies the event horizon, the boundary beyond which escape is impossible. Anything that crosses this invisible barrier is forever trapped. The gravitational pull of a black hole is unmatched in the universe. It warps space-time around it, creating a gravitational well so deep that even light cannot escape. This immense gravity is what makes black holes both terrifying and fascinating. Black holes are not all created equal. They come in different sizes, from stellar mass black holes to supermassive black holes at galaxy centers. Stellar mass black holes form from collapsing massive stars. The core collapses, creating a black hole three to ten times the mass of the sun. Supermassive black holes are millions to billions of times more massive. They reside at the centers of most large galaxies, including the Milky Way. These giants influence their host galaxies, regulating star formation. If a stellar mass black hole were a basketball, a supermassive one would be as large as our solar system. Both types share an event horizon and an insatiable appetite for matter and energy. The event horizon is one of the most intriguing concepts associated with black holes. It is the boundary beyond which nothing, not even light, can escape the black hole's gravitational pull. Imagine a sphere surrounding the black hole, an invisible barrier in space. But what happens to an object as it approaches the event horizon? The answer lies in a phenomenon known as spaghettification. As an object gets closer, the gravitational forces become extreme. The difference in gravity stretches the object like spaghetti. Astronomers have observed stars being torn apart by black holes. The star is stretched and ripped into a stream of gas. The event horizon and spaghettification show the extreme nature of black holes. They highlight the immense power of gravity and the mysteries of these cosmic abysses. While black holes are invisible to the naked eye, their presence can be inferred by their effects on surrounding matter. Astronomers have identified numerous black holes throughout the universe, but some stand out for their size, activity, or scientific significance. Two of the most famous black holes are Sagittarius A asterisk and the supermassive black hole at the center of galaxy M87. Sagittarius A asterisk is a supermassive black hole located at the center of our Milky Way galaxy. The supermassive black hole at the center of galaxy M87 is a true behemoth, with a mass of about six and a half billion suns. It was the first black hole to be directly imaged by the Event Horizon Telescope, creating the first ever picture of a black hole's shadow. These two famous black holes represent milestones in our understanding of these enigmatic objects. One of the most intriguing aspects of black holes is their potential connection to time travel. While the idea of traversing time through a black hole might seem like science fiction, it is rooted in theoretical physics, particularly in the work of renowned physicist Stephen Hawking. Hawking's groundbreaking research revealed that black holes are not entirely black. They emit a faint radiation known as Hawking radiation, a consequence of quantum effects near the event horizon. This process leads to the slow evaporation of black holes over vast stretches of time. While Hawking radiation has yet to be directly observed, it has profound implications for our understanding of black holes and the nature of time itself. These ideas offer tantalizing glimpses into the possibilities of time travel and the interconnectedness of space-time. Despite their elusive nature, black holes are not invisible to astronomers. Their presence can be inferred by their effects on surrounding matter and light. Astronomers use a variety of techniques to detect and study black holes, revealing their properties and providing insights into their role in the cosmos. One of the primary methods for detecting black holes is by observing their gravitational influence on nearby stars and gas. By studying the motion of stars orbiting a suspected black hole, astronomers can infer the mass of the unseen object. 
If the mass is sufficiently high and concentrated in a small enough region, it is strong evidence for the presence of a black hole. Another method involves detecting X-rays emitted from accretion disks around black holes. As gas and dust spiral into a black hole, they heat up to millions of degrees, emitting high-energy X-rays that can be detected by space-based telescopes. These observations provide information about the black hole's mass, spin, and activity level. Despite the progress in detecting and studying black holes, they still pose fundamental questions about the nature of information and the laws of physics. One of the most perplexing puzzles is the information paradox. According to quantum mechanics, information cannot be destroyed. However, the classical theory of black holes suggests that information that falls into a black hole is lost forever, violating the principles of quantum mechanics. This paradox has spurred intense debate and theoretical research, leading to new ideas about the nature of black holes and the relationship between quantum mechanics and general relativity. Resolving the information paradox is a major challenge for modern physics, with implications for our understanding of the fundamental nature of reality itself.